Howdy folks, Larry Leroy Lawrence the last coming to you from the farm. Kind of late in the afternoon here. I was sitting out here trying to catch a bass with my little rod and reel, but they wasn't biting today, but that's all right. I enjoy myself anyhow. A good day of fishing is better than a bad day at work. But I was enjoying some cousin Ida May sweet tea. Mm-mm. Cousin Ida May puts a little something special in there. I believe it come from her great granddaddy's recipe. God rest his soul. He's been gone a good while now, but we sure do appreciate his recipe. But uh, having some of her sweet tea made me think about the family reunion we got coming up here pretty soon. And uh, boy, we put on a good one now. We known we're known for all five, six, seven, eight counties around. They all know about our family reunion. We have it over there at Uncle Joe's place. He's uh, you know, Uncle Joe. You remember Uncle Joe? He's afraid to cut the cake. But anyway. Uh, he's got a nice little pasture there with a pavilion out in the, the middle. Plenty of parking and plenty of room for everybody. And man, we got some of the best food. Oh, my word. We got the best cooks in the country in our family. And uh, door prizes. We got some fine door prizes and everything. Uh, I believe the year before last, Cousin Eddie Earl, he donated one of his prize bulls for a door prize. And, uh, anyhow, word done got out, and, and uh, everybody knows that you know, we have a sure enough good one. And, and uh, that's that's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. It's, it's caused some problems. We got people coming to our reunion that, that we don't believe is part of the family. Uh, they come and they trying to get some of our free food and get you know try to get all our door prizes and everything. And and uh, we get to looking around and we realize that there's a whole bunch of people there that we don't know. Uh, and we we pretty sure they're not part of the family. Not not even the extended family. Some of them don't even look like us, but uh, they they show up. And, you know, it's really causing some trouble. We uh, we got a little barbed wire fence around the pasture, and that doesn't seem to stop anybody. They, they come anyhow. And, you know, last year we had the teenagers riding their four-wheelers around the, the fence there to try to kind of deter people from slipping in, but they, they still managed to get in there some kind of way. So, you know, we don't know what to do. Uh, uh, we're thinking about building a wall. That's that's all we know to do is just build a wall and try to keep these people out. But uh, you know, that's caused some problems in the families. You know, half the family said, no, just let them come on in. You know, they might be hungry or something. And the other half say, no, they're not part of the family. They shouldn't be here. They shouldn't, you know, get in here and, and get our free door prizes and eat all our good food and everything. Uh, so so we don't know. We don't know what to do. Of course, we got some of them crazy cousins. They say, well, let's just shoot them, you know. But, of course, we're not going to do that. But anyhow, I was just thinking about it and enjoying some Cousin Ida made sweet tea, and uh, I'm kind of on the, on the fence about this thing. I don't know what we should do. So if you got some ideas, put them in the comments. I'd sure like to hear it. We might use your idea. But uh, until next time, this is Larry Leroy Lawrence having some of Cousin Ida made sweet tea saying, see ya.